Okay, so I extended my my data and the the pattern that I talked about in the first video um, continues to happen, which is the distance between uh, three prime clusters and four prime clusters within any um, group of ten numbers. The distance in rows between them is always divisible by three. And here's the further uh, extension of the pattern from today. And then also, um, I found a mistake I made in the four prime clusters, um, which again, the distance is always divisible by three, except for this little anomaly up here that I mentioned in the other video. But I had a mistake, which was this right here. I had 115, 115, which is not the correct distance between rows 209 and 326. And it was also not a number that was divisible by 3, but now it's 117. And that's correct, and that's divisible by 3. And then I found another 4 prime cluster in row 566 right over here. And that um, is 219 rows away from 347, which again is divisible by 3. And then um, something else I was doing over here is, so here's the rows on the left, and the, the, the prime numbers are listed in their proper rows, and then this number represents how many prime numbers in that, in that 10 number span are prime. The largest number possible is four. I guess, I guess um, it, five would be possible for the first row. Uh, if 9 were prime, but it's not. So anyway, these are how many numbers are prime in each 10-digit cluster, and then th this row here, or column, represents um, how many of those numbers, if you add their digits together, like 2 plus 9, for example, equals 11, how many of those those are also prime, which I don't, I haven't really found a pattern to, or a rhyme or reason for that, I just, I don't know, it's the meta pattern, you know, just goofing around with patterns within a pattern to see if anything reveals itself. Again, I'm just going to put the same asterisk on this video as I did on the last one, which is that I don't even know if this is a pattern. Um, maybe there's some numerical imperative that dictates that this is, this is just what's supposed to happen no matter what numbers you're looking at, and there's really no pattern at all and this has just been a colossal waste of time but I would say it hasn't been just because I've had fun doing it this column column n or m represents so there's four in any ten uh, number cluster there's up to four prime numbers and those could be the first or uh, second third or fourth of the potentially prime numbers so here I have 1, 2, and 3 because the first um, number in that cluster, 31, or I think it's this cluster, 41, 43, and 47. So that's the first, second, and third of the um, four potentially prime numbers. Just because, you know, maybe there's some sort of connection between these 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, 1, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 3. I haven't really looked at at that sequence to see what, if anything, is going on, but just another statistical data point, I guess. Um, and then I also added up this column N represents the column number digits added together. So 5 is just 5, 8 is 8. We get down to column. 14. So in this three prime cluster, one plus four is five. In this three prime cluster, two plus three is five. And for some reason, as I scroll down, if you take a look in column N, you'll see that there's only a few different numbers that show up, quite a few of them being prime and eight 
repeats itself quite a bit as well as 14. So we have 5, 8, 5, 5, 8, 11, 8, there's 14, 17 is prime, 5, 8, 2 is prime, 5, 8, 11, 8, there's a 14 and another 8, and then we have a 17 popping up here, and a 2, 14, 17, 11, I'm getting dizzy here, sorry about the scrolling. There's another 14, there's some prime numbers, a 14, and we got a 21 showing up. More prime numbers, another 8, 11, 14, number 20, 17, I'm almost done, <laughs> 11, uh, okay, that's it, that's as far as I've gotten. So why, why all the 8s and 14s? I would imagine as the, you know, as, as the row numbers get bigger, we would have bigger digit totals when you add those separate digits together, but it seems statistically improbable or strange that you know you wouldn't get a six in there or a nine or you know a four just you know all things being equal if this if this is as random as it's supposed to be um, so may, maybe there's something with this with these row numbers that maybe those are not those, those shouldn't be part of the of the sequence at all or the pattern because it's a it's a I don't know a, what would what would naming the rows with numbers be I mean this is a this is a human generated pattern of counting by ones and maybe that applying that to, to a random pattern is 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 um, forcing the issue. I, I don't know. Again, I'm just having fun with numbers and speculating. So anyway, that's what I came up with today.